a beautiful day out here today in Portland. I'm with JS and Fabio and looking for some brim today. Obviously no bass, still got the ban on, but I'm sure we'll see plenty of those. Aim today is to get some brim for some hole baking, some scallops and whatever else we can find to, to cook up. As usual, the current was screaming off the bill, so we went into some shallower ledges to have a look around. A nice sized conga. I prevented the eel from going further into its hole by clipping off a float onto the back of the gun and keeping the line tight. Much to my relief, the float did its job and the eel came right out of the hole without a hiccup. So after watching a video by Joe Pike the other day, I've decided to take this conga and see what it tastes like. It's a nice fish, probably around five, five, six, six kilos. So um, yeah, Joe reckons it was pretty good. So I'm gonna try and cook it up myself and pour back with the results. By now the current had slowed down enough that we could hunt the brim. I've also shot a brim after missing a few times, only a little one, but hopefully I can uh, upgrade on that and get some bigger ones like the boys have been getting. Oh, he's a cracker. That's a long shot, actually. Really nice fish. Fabio and Jace have been getting some nice brim here. Gilthead brim are known to frequent this area and I caught a glimpse of three of these fish sitting under the black brim.
In the meantime, Fabio found a massive shoal of the guilt heads and shot two in one shot. Oh, the guilty! <laughs> yeah, mate. Two of them. Two guilty. Two guilty. Yeah. You got two guilties? Yeah. Oh, mate. <laughs> yeah, it's the Don, mate. The Don. The Don. Yeah. With a few nice fish each, we thought we'd better go grab some scallops on the way in. You guys got some scallops? You didn't get any. I got some. Okay. So yesterday I had one of the best days spearfishing from England I've ever had. We got a lot of fish and we got some scallops and some crabs as well. So these are our scallops here. I'm gonna show you how to shuck these. I'm not very good at it because I've only recently just discovered scallops in my diving crib and they are delicious. So I find it easy to slip in this little side bit here with the knife. The animal's attached to the top so we're aiming to slide in, cut it off that and then it'll pop open. Pops open if you I've cut it off the top correctly. There's your open scallop. You have the actual scallop meat and that's the row. So a bit of a cut down there and that side. Releases the animal underneath. Get your finger under it. You can pull it out. You can eat the row if you want, but I'm gonna try these without row today. We've got our clean scallop shells. We've got our scallop meat, some crushed up garlic, parsley, and some butter, we're gonna stick them in the oven and grill them and they should be delicious. All right. Doesn't need long, just about done. You definitely don't want the middle cooked, that's just about perfect. It is acceptable. And they're gone. Okay, easiest way to clean one of these is flip their tail up and then get the thumb in there. Break it open like that. All that is generally poop. Take off the lungs of the crab, and then you can just simply break it down the middle, like so. Give the guts a bit of a washout. Our crab smashed up, ready to go into our linguine. So the synopsis of this meal is basically garlic, chili, tomato, linguine, crab, stick it together, fish bash bosh, dinner. Put the crabs while the linguine is boiling, then we'll add the linguine to the tomatoes and crab mix. And hopefully everybody enjoys dinner. Pasta is now finished al dente. Turn the oven off, give this a bit of a drain. But try and keep some of the juice because if you want to make your dish a little bit more moist, you can add that later. All right, linguine into the mix. Mix this all through. Parsley. And I'm sure the Italians out there will tell me I did something wrong, but it's the best I could do today. Plate it up, a little bit of parsley on the top. It's gonna taste a lot better than it looks. Mm. Really good. Very good. Maybe some salt. Mm. I'm gonna say that's a success. Several wines, several drinks later, we have come to our final course, which is these black sea brim that we caught yesterday. And uh, we're using the hot grill here. I'm gonna grill these up with a bit of salt and olive oil and make it tasty. Straight onto the hot pan. Finishing off the sea brim, in the oven for a little bit after we've grilled the skin. So we have the final course for our seafood Sunday soiree is the black sea brim grilled in the oven. Looks all right. Looks amazing. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh my gosh. Yeah, look at that. Wow. Actually looks like it's cooked all right. So good. I would, Ted. What's the, what's the verdict, mate? Um, it's delectable. Satisfactory? Oh, very. 
Yeah, almost too much. I haven't eaten one of these in about three years. It was the last time I shot one. Uh, really, really good to eat. Um, England's not so bad after all. Scallops, crab linguine, whole grilled fish. It's not that bad. <laughs>